to whatever degree that there is any kind of entitlement that was created by the sequence of events, uh, I think that that probably would be referring to the creation of these primarily urban congressional districts uh, that are overwhelmingly or very significantly African American. You have to look at the context in which these districts were drawn. In the 1980s, for example, African Americans made up 25% of the South, but it held only 5% of elected seats. And this was 15, 20 years after the passage of the Voting Rights Act. So you had to do something to increase representation because white elected officials weren't just going to give up power voluntarily, particularly those white Democrats that had ruled the South for so many years. So drawing these new majority minority districts as they became known was a solution to this problem, that you had to create some sort of representation, as civil rights lawyers at the time said, you had to go from none to some. And if that meant grouping African Americans in one district, if that was the only way to do it, then that's what had to be done. And that's what led uh, to people like Bobby Scott from Virginia, or John Lewis from Atlanta, or Terry Sewell from Selma, to be elected to Congress. Without those districts, they just wouldn't have made it there. And I think we have to recognize that reality, that there was no alternative.